So these guys are actually. Oh. Good night, I'm Johnson, and I have a crazy loud insect to show you. The dog day cicada. Take a look at this guy. Isn't he cute? In a alien bug way. And this guy, I'm not sure. Maybe he's close to the end of his life. They don't live all that long. Maybe he's just crazy. But he crash landed. It's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. And this guy crash lands. Come here. There we go. Yeah, you just keep hanging out there. I won't stress this guy out too much, especially. Really, I mean, I love hearing that sound. It's a crazy sound when they make when they're stressed, but I don't want to stress them out. And it's ironic. Because I literally, like just a couple hours ago, I was filming that cicada killer video. And now I've got a cicada. In Dog Day Cicada, it's actually the feature of the cicada that they hunt. Oh, he's going right onto the camera. That's cool. Go on. Trying to climb up my camera lens. I bet you can see legs coming up. Yeah, he's got some kind of cool patterning. Come here. Come here. If you can get a nice look at that. It's got the green of the black and a little bit of like, not really black, it's kind of a brown and yellow maybe on the back. So these guys are actually, oh. ah, come back. These guys are actually true bugs, which is a family of bugs, insects. And that puts them in close relation to a couple other animals I've filmed before. Notably one I think of off the top of my head being, believe it or not, the milkweed assassin bug. However, despite their alien appearance, cicadas are perfectly harmless. If you can even see this little proboscis he has on the underside, that is only for sucking plants, not for sucking live animals or people look at this guy he is so placid you gotta pick him up and then you can get that crazy sound i'm with johnson here hold up on this episode and i will be hearing from these guys all month i will see you again soon you gotta chill out, buddy.